Hello, colleagues. Uh, the subject I would like to say today is a simplified rich augmentation using the mineralized my two bone block for advanced rich augmentation. After extraction, hopeless teeth, do you want to cast away patient extracted teeth in the trash or would you like to make normal osteoinductive bone graft? This slide shows you scientific background to prove bone uh, osteoinductive of demineralized uh, tooth bones placed in the soft tissue. According to the, these, these uh, several published uh, favor, uh, once tooth is demineralized, tooth bone graft shows released diverse gross factors to induce bone deformation. This slide shows you Dr. Yemenes and Yurist study. Uh, to prove uh, osteoinductivity of uh, demineralized tooth bone grafted in the mouse uh, uh, let's muscle pouch. The decalcified dentin demonstrated slow resorption and bone induction in let's muscle pouch. And according to this study, uh, decalcified dentin showed the slow resorption than decalcified bone. Tooth is known to have a similar inorganic and organic components as alveolar bone. As an inorganic component, hydroxyapatite and TCP are main components and they have osteoconductive function. As an organic component, collagen type 1, and diverse cross factors including BMP, uh, DMP1, osteocalcin, insulin-like cross factors and others are known to be osteoinductive according to the uh, several studies. The decalcified dentin induced faster newborn formation then catch by the dentin and we can make uh, three types of uh, bone to spawn from extracted patient teeth we can make particulate or black bone or we can make a uh, lean uh, tooth black bone DMP, dentin matrix protein 1, is found in tooth and bone. DMP is known as a multifunctional protein involved in the biomineralization of bones and dentin, according to the Ling and Lu study. DMP is the essential non collagenous proteins in dentin and bone to play an important role in the mineralization of heart tissue. This slide shows a comparative same image uh, between non decalcified dentin and 30 minute decalcified dentin. Non decalcified dentin shows you blocked dentinal tube by hydroxyapatite crystals. After 30 minute decalcification, dentinal tube is enlarged, so diverse growth factors are released through the enlarged dentinal tube. Now you can see exposed the, the collagen fibers. These collagen are uh, uh, fibers act as a uh, scaffolding uh, function to accelerate opposition of newborn for newborn.
according to, to the Dr. Uh, Kim and his colleagues study, uh, tooth uh, spawn are biodegradable biomaterials with uh, compact micropores and low crystalline uh, structure after decalcification. So, decalcified uh, my tooth bone graft could be an excellent alternative to autogenous uh, bone graft. My tooth bone graft is uh, recommended uh, strongly for socket preservation, or ridge augmentation, or, uh, and for sinus augmentation. In addition to a particular tooth bone, uh, black or ring tooth bone are also uh, indicated uh, for sinus and ridge augmentation, according to the several published papers. This is tooth black, thick black, this is ring MTB black. This slide shows you my old patient rich augmentation using autologous black bone. And this is my uh, present technique, simple technique uh, using uh, a patient extracted teeth. This slide shows you uh, the bony plate technique using uh, autologous black bone. Uh, which is invasive technique and the right side shows you a simplified rich augmentation using uh, pe uh, tooth uh, black bone, demineralized black bone. This slide shows you uh, this advantage, drawbacks of uh, auto, auto black bone graph. The use of auto Logos black bone graph is considered as a gold standard for vertical bone augmentation due to its osteoinductive and osteoconductive capacity. However, there are many problems associated with the harvesting uh, an adequate quantity of autologous bone graph. Harvesting autologous bone graph requires secondary surgery causing increase in surgical time and surgical cost fracture of donor site and urosensory disturbance at donor site. Actually, this technique is technically uh, difficult. This slide shows uh, the severe bleeding uh, due to arterial damage uh, due, uh, during harvesting chim lemus bone. So take a closer look at the huge swelling from eye to the neck. So these patients were referred to our emergency depo uh, department. The, the damaged artery was uh, tight, clamped and tight. And this patient admitted uh, at my department for 30 days to compensate blood uh, loss. This slide shows severe ecchymosis and swelling after harvesting chin bones. Um, this complication will be resolved after at least one month and patient quality of life is also impaired. It is very critical to keep KISS principle in mind to perform minimally invasive implant surgery. KISS stands for keep it smart and simple. Uh, we can make uh, three uh, types of tooth bone from patient uh, extracted uh, teeth. This is the particulate tooth bone graft, sticky tooth bone graft. This is a thin tooth block. This is a thick tooth block. 
This is the link to Splunk. Uh, I'd like to share uh, a few uh, before, I, uh, before I demonstrate clinical cases using tooth block, I'd like to show you uh, show you scientific paper uh, to prove bone regeneration on the mineralized tooth block. This is a, a recently published animal study on comparative histomorphometric evaluation of bone regeneration with the different preparations of genogenic tooth block bone. This slide shows you three, uh, four different types of tooth block grafted on Levitt's Calvaria. All dentin block were not fixed with the micro uh, screw. Humans extracted uh, permanent mora were collected after removing of soft tissue and calculus attached in teeth with the rotary bar. And an enamel portion was removed with the fissure bar and tooth was dissected into the into two pieces with disc with saline irrigation. Twenty-four dentin blocks measuring approximately six millimeter width by two millimeter thickness were prepared and divided to four groups. Group one is a demineralized and microperforated dentin block. Group two is a demineralized dentin block with uh, no microperforations. Group three is undemineralized and uh, microperforated dentin block. Group 4 is untreated dentin block without uh, microperforations. All prepared dentin block uh, was sterilized with a sterilizing reagent, which is a parasitic acid ethanol solution in a device to undergo vacuum compression and ultrasonic vibration. Uh, this is a vacuum ultrasonic device. After sterilization of dentin block, uh, they were demineralized for 70 minutes uh, using uh, 0 0.6 normal hydrochloride on the uh, vacuum compression and ultrasonic vibration in this machine. This is the histology uh, result of group 1 demineralized uh, dentin block with micro holes. Most of the dentin block uh, bottoms and micro holes rebuilt and duly formed, duly formed the bone. New, form, new bone formation was also occurring on the upper surface of dentin block under periosteum. This is an amazing result from uh, demineralized micro uh, perforated dentin blocks. This is a histologic result from group 2, which is a demineralized human dentin without holes. Bone formation was observed in the half of dentin here, dentin black bottom and fibrovascular tissue also was observed in, in the other half. But the no newborn formation is, was observed on the top surface of dentinal block. This is a histologic result from group 3, which is an undemineralized dentin block uh, with holes. Uh, 
uh, worm formation was observed only in far of dentin bottom, um, but most was attached to the fi fibrovascular tissue. This is a histologic uh, result of group 4, which is undemerized dentin without holes. The result is almost the same as group 3. The bone degeneration is the uh, poor. This is the eight weeks healing of group one, newborn formation and uh, fibrovascular tissue were well attached to the dentin bottom and micro holes. In some of the bottom of the dentin block, replacement resorption of dentin was observed. Newly formed bone and osteoblast were observed at the calvaria and dentin uh, contact surface and osteoclast were found at the dentin uh, surface, so which is indication of bone remodeling. This is eight weeks healing of the group two. Uh, you can see uh, good bone regeneration at the junction of a dentinal block and the calvaria. This is a histologic result of eight weeks. Uh, after eight weeks in group three, you can also see the newly formed bone in the micro holes and uh, at the junction between dentinal block and calvaria. Uh, this is histologic uh, result of group four after eight weeks healing. Uh, you can see newly formed bone the, at the junction between uh, dentinal block and the calvaria bone. This slide shows you stomorphometric measurement of the host bone to uh, graft contact ratio and uh, bone deformation ratio at 2, 4, and 8 weeks in group 1, 2, 3, 4. Demeralized and micro perforated dentin block induce the fastest and highest bone formation than any other dentin blocks as alternative to autogenous or allogenic uh, block bone graft, demineralized and microperforated dentin block bone can be recommended as an only uh, block bone graft according to the, this study. I'd like to show you uh, a few cases, a few cases using tooth block. Uh, uh, this patient is a 37 aged female patient. She lost the labial bone, upper labial bone, and tooth number 122, uh, 21 due to traffic accident. In, in 2016. This combined CT shows you the aborst uh, canine, upper canine. So upper canine was extracted and prepared uh, to two pieces of demineralized and microperforated tooth block before implant surgery. This is a preoperative combined CT so you can see the displaced or displaced canine and the, the, you, or you can or you can also see the the bone loss labial labial bone loss at extraction sites so this canine uh, was uh, dissected 
uh, and uh, micropropated and demineralized uh, in vacuum uh, ultrasonic device by Cheoside. Take a closer look at the uh, phone nose and upper anterior ridge. This is uh, a collagen view. You can see the huge bone nose of alveolar bone. This is the preoperative OPG panoramic view. This is a preoperative uh, uh, cross sectional image of Combium CT. This is intraoral view after extraction of canine. This is an extracted canine. This is prepared two pieces of tooth block. This is a lateral view showing bony divisions. Compute guide was prepared to place implant at ideal position. Before raising full sequence flap, uh, implant site prepara preparation was done. After preparation of implant site with the implant drill, full sequence flap was elevated. And palatal flap was elevated. A closer look at the defect and implant were all implants were placed according to the computer computer guide guide three implants were placed initial stability was not good even uh, osteo under osteotomy was done due to poor quality of uh, available Three implants were placed at ideal position. This is the occlusal view. So you can see the bone defect here, bone defect here, and bone defect here. In order to deliver immediate uh, fixed temporary restoration, one mini implant were, was placed at the same time. at the uh, central incise area. This is the demineralized and microperforated tooth block. To stabilize the tooth block with the micro screw, uh, osteotomy was done. And 10 mm or 12 mm long micro screw was uh, used to stabilize uh, tooth, uh, tooth block before uh, placing uh, particulate bone graft between uh, block and host bone. Dentin plug and host ball. This is occlusal view. Now it's time to place the graph material, bone graph material, particular graph material between dentinal block and the host bone. This is sticky 
bovine bone. Sticky bovine bone was grafted on the palatal defect and labial uh, defect. Before placing bone graft on labial uh, defect, uh, the religion incision was done. And make sure to get at least a 10 millimeter overlapping of a buccal plaque or the palatal plaque before grafting, bone grafting. And uh, deeper sticky bovine bone was grafted on the legendary defect. Now the black bone was secured. Uh, my pancho technique was done on mini implant and, C and CZF membrane was carved of the bone defect to accelerate wound healing. The membrane is not required in this case. Small step incision was made on labial plate to accommodate head of mini implant. Shoot was done. Primary tension pre shoot was done. This is a, a post op uh, x ray. This is the poor man's healing. The Combin CT shows you the favorable of bone gain horizontally. This is a pre-op Combin CT. This is a post-op Combin CT. This is the poor man's healing. The excellent horizontal bone regeneration is seen around dental implants. This is before. This is poor man's healing. This is pre-op intraoral view. This is Poman's healing intraoral view. The favorable horizontal leach augmentation was achieved. This is occlusal view. Pre-op Poman's healing. The good bone volume is now gained. So uncovering was done after Poman's healing. You can see the well incorporated uh, tooth black bone and the particulated bone into the uh, host bone. Uh, this is the labial view. This is temporary restoration using uh, dental implant. This is final restorations. This is the one year and six months follow-ups. The result was uh, favorable. Here's another case. Uh, you can see the huge vertical defect on patient left posterior mandible. So, lingual flap was released with uh, blunt dissection using uh, Persa elevator before implant placement. One piece of tooth block was uh, secured on the buccal defect and implant was placed at the same time as the tenting pole screw and to get vertical uh, augmentation to allow the vertical augmentation or, uh, which is overgrafting as it 2 millimeter, uh, 2 millimeter uh, healing abutment were placed on the implant platform as a tenting pore 
uh, about the month. And sticky particulate MTB was crafted and collagen barrier membrane was carved. Primary switch was done, immediate uh, fixed restoration was delivered on the same day. This is post -op. The lead implant placement and lead augmentation on the right side was done on the same day. This is a post op. This is six months healing. You can see the excellent bone, bone, uh, three dimensional lead augmentation with this simple technique. This is right side uh, before bone grafting. This is after six months healing. The, the sticky bone, sticky MTB was grafted here. No collagen barrier membrane was placed here, but uh, one uh, collagen membrane was placed here. Uh, take a closer look at the unmigrated uh, uh, MTB after six months healing. So I removed this bone graft for histologic examination. This is left side, before grafting after six weeks healing. You can see the good vertical uh, bone gain. This slide shows histologic uh, result. Wow, take a closer look at the newly formed bone, compact bone, and uh, newly formed herbaceous canals. This is a two spawns. Two spawns is completely surrounded by, surrounded with the newly formed bone. This is a one year follow. Uh, generally speaking, it takes 30 to 50 minutes uh, for preparation of uh, particulate tooth bone graft from uh, cleaning, sterilization, and decalcification. It takes two hours to prepare uh, Black tooth block in uh, vacuum sonic machine by chair side. This slide shows you uh, three uh, benefits of a demineralized my tooth bone graft. There are three benefits from uh, tooth bone graft. Firstly, uh, patient benefits. Patient benefits are clear biological benefit with great regeneration of bone and uh, patient uh, prefer uh, their own teeth, hence accepted is high and psychologically uh, benefits observed also. Secondly, Clinical benefit. Clinical benefit is uh, is that uh, the simplified 3D rich augmentation with the black MTB, and this uh, technique uh, make uh, customizing grab shape easy, and this technique. Uh, allows simple and predictable uh, leach augmentation. Last benefit of tooth bone is a practical benefit. Practical benefit is that you can distinguish the practice. You can get. You can retain more patient. You can get higher return of implant cases after extraction. This slide shows advantage of the mineralized auto tooth bone graft, my tooth bone graft. There is no risk of cross contamination from animal and human ori origin. Uh, you can get fast bone regeneration due to its uh, osteoinductivity. 
the tooth bone has a similar component as the human alveolar bone. Tooth black bone is malleable, malleable and is tender and provides sub substantial stable volume. So you don't need to uh, harvest autologous uh, black bone. So you can reduce mobility uh, for your patient. And the clinician is able to prepare gram material at chair site. So surgical cost is decreased. You can get great return of your patient after extraction. Autobone is considered a gold standard of a bone graft colony, but it has several disadvantages. The calcified my tooth bone graft could be the next gold standard of a bone graft because of its osteoinductivity and osteoconductivity and easy preparation and application. Thank you very much for your kind attention.